Hey, what's going on, Crowley K1 owners? This is Covenant Custom. Today, I'm going to be knocking out yet another modification on my second machine. It's going to be matching these Derek Daryl side braces that are installed on my first. And for this project, you're going to need a set for both the left and right sides. All of them are appropriately labeled for their correlating position with male and female ends on each corner so that they can receive themselves and be secured with hardware. Taking a look at one of these corner pieces, you'll see that there's a recessed portion in between each of the hardware locations. This is for one millimeter foam tape to be applied to prevent any rattling between the side brace and the panel itself. We're gonna start with the one millimeter foam tape install and it goes exactly like shown. A piece of foam tape on either side and a small portion in the corner. Now let's pull back the wax paper so that we can expose the adhesive and get down to business. While completing this process, make sure that your foam tape isn't overlapping the raised surfaces as these will be the contact points for your panel. You don't want to move the panel further away from the brace as it will render the foam tape install that we're completing now useless. After all eight corners have received the foam tape, it should look something like this. And that's all for prep work. Now it's time to start removing the panels. You're going to remove the hardware from the perimeter of each. You will not need to remove the hardware for the auxiliary fan. Starting with the opposing side, I'll be removing all of the hardware on the outside edge. And before you know it, you'll be on your last screw and the panel will be falling into your hands. Laying the side braces out, you'll be able to see how they come together. For the top portion of the frame, so top left and top right, you'll see that there's negative space for an M3 nut, which will receive an M3 by eight on the opposing side to secure these two pieces together. My suggestion would be to tighten this up enough so that they are held together but you don't want them to be so tight that you can't get a little bit of wiggle room out of them to make sure that your holes on the corners are aligned. And although we'll need to install the braces before we can put the panel on, this is what it will look like sitting within the outer edges. For the bottom of the frame, there's going to be a rough threaded M3 that you're going to need to remove to secure the bottom portion of these side braces in place. With an M3 by 16 or an M3 by 18, you'll be able to place it through the hole in the center and secure it to the K1. Next, we'll take our already assembled top portion of the brace and made it to the bottom, placing it over top. And although this seemed like the perfect time to tell you what hardware to use to secure your braces, I quickly found that the hardware that was in my hand just there was not actually the best for the job. So removing the M3 by 18 flathead screw from my other machine to show you, these were able to install or receive the side braces into the frame successfully. The screws I had shown you may or may not have stripped out the threads of the frame. So M3 by 18 flathead screw and you should be good to go. Total of 20 with 10 per side. I was checking the corners as I was installing the panel so that it could sit flush within the outer edge of the braces. Now we're ready to move on to the other side, removing the panel. Remember that the auxiliary fan is attached to this panel. So once you've got the hardware out, you're simply going to have to disconnect it. With the panel disconnected, we can complete the same process with the pre-assembly of the top brace components. And after that is tight enough to hold them together, but not too tight where you can't get an adjustment, you're going to remove the rough thread M3 from the bottom of the frame so that you can utilize an M3 by 16 or M3 by 18 screw to secure the brace to the lower portion. And again, as with the other side, take your pre-assembled top brace and place it over top. Now you're ready to install the panel and all of the correlating hardware that goes along with it after you reconnect the auxiliary fan. Now, if you happen to miss this step for whatever reason, after you've completed the install of the side panel, just open up the front door and connect it at that time. And that's it, too easy. You're done with the install of your side braces and your frame effectively is more rigid than it was when you first started out, prepared for those higher acceleration and print speed values. Now, this is the reason why you don't use the wrong hardware. Use the appropriate hardware for the job, and you'll have a much cleaner install, more reflective of my first machine. But I'd rather fail so that you don't have to, so lesson learned, learn from my lessons, and don't make the same mistakes. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.